Super Mario Brothers, a Nintendo comic and cassette published by Random House. The Legend. Far beyond the world we know lies the magical Mushroom Kingdom. There, the Mushroom people lived in peace, ruled by the kindly Mushroom King and his daughter, Princess Toadstool. Little did they realize that evil was growing in their midst. The freedom-loving fungi were menaced by the forces of tyranny. The biggest troublemaker was a revolting reptile and a despicable despot, that callous, cold-blooded creep, King Bowser Koopa. Who were you expecting, the Tooth Fairy? Toad, the royal mushroom retainer, wondered who would save the kingdom. Good question, huh? The kind, gentle, demure Princess Toadstool called for help. Help! Help! And step on it, okay? Fortunately, word reached the ears of two heroic champions of goodness and right. Two men who hungered for justice and thirsted for freedom. Help! Help! Mario, a man of great courage and determination, and his brother Luigi, who, though shy, was always willing to rise to a challenge. This is where the legend ends and the adventure begins. The Super Mario Brothers defeated the forces of evil. However, King Koopa wasn't going to take defeat lying down. Plunged into despair by a pair of plumbers. All my evil plans flushed down the drain. But I'll get them for this. Our heroes knew that just like water in a clogged sink, the call for help would rise again. Remember, the best laid pipes of mushrooms and men are bound in time to burst. But in the meantime, when do we eat? Magic Carpet Madness. One sunny day in the land of the mushroom people, Mario and Luigi were helping the mushroom king in his garden. Drink up, my little beauties, so you'll grow up to be strong and long-stemmed. Hey, Mario, the king knows the name of every flower in his garden. Big deal, Luigi. They're all named Bud. Oh, drop the phone. Uh-oh, looks like rain. Feels like rain. Good thing we're mushrooms. All right, all right, I'm coming. Why does the phone always ring when I'm busy? Hello? Hello? Is your refrigerator running? Better go and catch it. Oh! Oh, that's smart. <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> Dream, Daddy! Huh? Princess Toadstool? Uh-oh! Haven't you ever heard of a doormat? Look at our beautiful carpets. You and that garden. Why can't you just grow old like everybody else? Just then, Mario and Luigi came to the open palace door and saw the king's muddy footprints all over the carpet. Mario, look! Free dance lessons! The brothers started matching their own footsteps with the muddy footprints on the carpet. What do you call this dance? The Funky King? Hello, information? I need the name of a good carpet cleaner. Later that afternoon, four black pigeon birds arrived at the palace to clean the carpets. Pigeons almost always travel on flying carpets, so they really know about carpet care. This is the place! Come on, we've got a carpet to clean! Die! <laughs> what if it's a wall-to-wall -wall carpet? Great, just in time. Left foot, right foot, hop, hop, hop! This way, gang. If it looks like a carpet, clean it. 
Dibs on the shag. Dibs on the Persian rug. Look, free dance lessons. Okay, let her rip. <laughs> And now, the bubble bath boogaloo. <laughs> Meanwhile, out in the carpet cleaner's van, a mysterious green hand pours flying carpet juice into the rinsing machine. And the machine's hose leads right to the royal carpets. My little guys must almost be finished shampooing the rug. <laughs> now it's time to add the conditioner. The pidgets were soon finished and began getting ready to leave. Princess Toadstool came in with a plate full of cookies. The carpets look beautiful. You did a wonderful job. Here's a cookie. Thanks. 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 <sighs> Extra chocolate chips. She loves me. Looks like trouble on the foot. This is going to be excellent. It wasn't too long after the Pidgets left that the Mario brothers realized something was unusual about the carpets. Suddenly, Luigi found himself looking up at Mario. That's funny. I always thought I was the tall one, so did I. Hey, guys, I think my rug has the hiccups. What the? Yo, look out! Runaway carpet! Our heroic plumbers in Princess Toadstool found themselves standing on wobbly carpets that were floating in midair. Yeeks! Yeeks! What kind of word is that? Desperately trying to keep their balance, the Mario brothers found themselves waving their arms wildly. Great. The carpet's floating away and all you guys can think about is dancing. Yeah! Princess Toadstool's carpet gently took her up through the palace skylight, while the Mario brothers were trapped by their carpet against the ceiling. Great. Who left the skylight open? I've heard of being swept under the rug. As Princess Toadstool floated higher into the sky, she looked down to the palace roof where she saw her old enemy, Bowser Koopa, with some of his hench pigeons. Up, Up you go, go into the wild blue yonder. yonder. Amazing! Some clouds look so lifelike. Princess Toadstool floated up past clouds and some curious birds. Hey, Dad, what kind of bird is that? Hmm. I think it's some kind of hummingbird. Up Princess Toadstool went, through the Ozone, through the O-No Zone, up even to the Koopa Zone. Oh, no! Oh, golly gosh darn gall bang dag nab! Just then, two of Koopa's pigeons floated up on mini flying carpets and began to hypnotize Princess Toadstool. At last, the girl of our dreams, evil dreams, that is, Double golly gosh darn dag nabbit fudge. You are getting sleepy. Back at the palace, Mario and Luigi are still pinned against the ceiling by their flying carpet. Don't worry, Luigi. This little gadget will get us out of here. What is it? A carpet cutter? Nope. Pocket vacuum cleaner. Again. Yeah! Ah! <sighs> The Mario Brothers rushed outside and found the Mushroom King working in his garden. I must remember to tell Mario about the amazing cloud I saw. Oh, red alert to green thumminess! The princess has floated away! She's probably in the Koopa Zone by now. Suddenly, Princess Toadstool zoomed down on her carpet. Not anymore, sucker! Up, do it! Yeah! <laughs> but there was something different about her. The king was shocked by her new punk rocker appearance. My baby, where did I go wrong? It's not your fault, king. The pigeons used their evil dreams to make her sleep fry. And change her clothes, too. Ah! Get out of the air, ah! bird brain. You're cramping my carpet. Punk teenager. Sweet Princess Toadstool had undergone a complete transformation. We've got to wake her up. Great. Know where we can get a flying alarm clock? I've got to sit down and think about this. 
Mario sat down on a bag of fertilizer. Unbeknownst to him, it spilled on the ground, and hungry bean seeds lapped it up. Unnoticed by Mario, a healthy bean plant began to grow in back of him. Boy, was I hungry. An enormous beanstalk burst out of the ground and grew rapidly up to the sky. If only there was some way to climb up to her. Luigi had seen the huge plant and was already halfway up. Come on, Mario. Last one up is a jolly green giant. No fair! The king came over to admire his latest vegetable triumph. Ah, the beans are coming in nicely this year. Meanwhile, the altered Princess Toadstool was terrorizing the skies. Chicken! Whatever happened to the friendly skies? Uh-oh, isn't that? I can't look. Princess Toadstool flew her magic carpet right through the bad year blimp, punching a hole in it. Go on a diet, you blimp! She had been so busy with the blimp that she forgot to watch where she was flying. Uh-oh. She hit the beanstalk at full force. The king watched in horror from the ground as his beloved daughter fell through the air. Oh, no! But the jolt must have broken her trance. <sighs> that was a nice nap. Where are my slippers? Oh, where's the floor? We, we can't, can't look. look! But the king had things well under control, with the help of a few friends, of course. Don't worry, my little princess. Daddy's got you. The Mushroom King caught the princess on a blanket held by some flower buddies. It looked like the princess was her old self again. Oh, Daddy. You can track mud into the house anytime you want. Mwah! A happy ending. Somehow, though, I can't help wondering where Koopa was during all this. Koopa was on, rather, in the ground, not far away, where he had landed hard. My blimp! Punk teenagers! A run around zoo. One day in the land of the mushroom people, Mario and Toad burst in to see the mushroom king. They looked upset and were ripping clinging vines off their clothes. I don't know, maybe it's me. I just don't like being ambushed by a bush. I'm telling you, Toad, the piranha plants are planning a revolution of one kind or another. King, King, the plants are revolting. I've always thought so. Did you lose weight, King? That's a good look for you. Koopa has turned me into a chameleon, Mario. I need the magic wand to turn me back. And you two guys just got volunteered. Sire, I understand that being a lizard can't be pleasant, but there is a revolution brewing. This is important, Sire. There was a fly buzzing in the air, and the chameleon mushroom king ate it hungrily. Oh, this fly is green. It's a good fly, but not great. Uh, you know what I mean? Zaya, the only place to get a magic wand is the Piranha Plant headquarters on World One. Another fly had landed on Mario's hat, and the Chameleon Mushroom King began sneaking up on it. Mm, if you're not going to eat that fly, do you mind? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Selfish. I shouldn't give you this, then. The Mushroom King dropped a green gem into Mario's hand. What's that? This is the green gecko gem. It will put a force field around you. Only the strongest enemies can break through. But there's a downside. You cannot touch anyone else. Is that it? Oh, there's some loose talk that if it falls into the wrong hands, it'll mean total destruction of all the kingdoms. Same thing we've heard before. Soon Mario and Toad were on their way to get the magic wand. Holding the green gecko gem, Mario was surrounded by a protective force field. Listen, I've got an idea of what we can do. First, okay. Mm, 
That might work if they try anything. Protected by his force field, Mario easily sped through dangerous areas, squashing Goombas and anything else he landed on. Poor little Toad struggled to keep up. Excuse me, Mario. Could you slow down a little? Not in this life. Could be worse. Last time I got squashed, I was toe jammed for a week. You know, not everyone has the green gecko gem to help them along. They don't? Well, they should. <laughs> yeah. A group of friendly trees nearby didn't like the way Mario was acting. Nasty Mario. Not nice. Him mean. I concur fully. Wait, Mario! Wait for me! As Toad raced after Mario, he was suddenly stopped by a slimy green piranha plant. Did Piranha Sue hear someone around here mention the green gecko? How interesting. It gives me an idea. Hold on there, little guy. That plumber guy doesn't treat you very well, does he? Oh, Mario? Mario's my friend. I hear that Mario has a powerful little gem. Maybe. So what? So, I'd much rather see that green gecko gem in the proper hands. Your hands. Mushroom hands. Mm. Wouldn't you like to have all that power? As Toad watched spellbound, Piranha Sue conjured up a delightful daydream about oh. Toad being the king, sitting on a throne next to his beautiful queen. Oh, you made me a slime malted. How nice. With extra granite, just the way you like it. Hail, King Toad! We live to serve! Boy, I wish I could dream up more ways to serve King Toad! You and me both. I live to grovel. Wait a second. You want me to betray everything I hold dear? Just for a few fleeting moments of power? Sure. What are friends for? Okay, tell me more. <laughs> It's so pleasant working with reasonable fungus. Meanwhile, Mario is far ahead trying to get to World One. Let's see, if I jump under this block... Mario was showered by gold coins. There are such things as priorities. Nearby, Piranha Sue had just finished explaining her evil plan to Toad. So, all I have to do is act like I'm about to fall into the waterfall? Yeah, that's it. Unaware of the nefarious plot Piranha Sue was hatching, Mario continued to gather his coins on the other side of the mountain. Come to Papa! Daddy needs a new adjustable socket wrench set! Meanwhile, far below them all, in the Piranha Plant headquarters, angry plants hurled revolutionary words. Our revolution will proceed much faster than planned, and that idiot Mushroom believes we would just hand the green gecko gem over to him. Soon we will have the gem, unlimited power, then we'll be free of Koopa once and for all. Uh, we will rule the world, we will rule the multiverse. And more importantly, more than one bathroom in here. I hear cheering. No, you don't. Get in the water. <laughs> Remember, Mario will see you drowning and put down the gem to rescue you. Then I'll um, uh, hold on to it until you're safe. I don't deserve a buddy as good as you. Meanwhile, Mario is near the end of his mission. At last, here's the magic wand. Now back to Toady. Hope he's used his time constructively too. Oh no, he's going over that waterfall. In mid-boing, Mario looked down to see his friend in danger. Is there any particular reason you're in that creek? Let's talk about it in great detail after you've pulled me out. I can't grab you as long as I'm holding the gem. You know that. Mario, no kidding. I'm beginning to slip. Lose the stupid gem already. No can do, buddy of mine. Someone could steal the gem. Mario, Toadie! 
At the sight of his friend sinking beneath the water, Mario did the only thing he could do. He dropped the wand and the green gecko gem. The gem's mine. Sure enough, Piranha Sue had snatched the gem from midair. Mario and a dripping toady looked at her in disbelief. My, my. And here's the magic wand, too. The king needs that to turn back to normal. He's been turned into a lizard. Tell him to avoid the green flies. They're the worst. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, but exactly when do I get the gem? You fool. Now I am invincible. All the piranha plants are invincible. As of today, I rule the world. A green hand had snatched Piranha Sue around the neck. So you're leader of the world, huh? Did I say that? You know... I've had a tough day. First, some plumber guy throws a plunger at me, yelling, Yeah, yeah, you can't catch me. I chased that moron for miles, stub a claw doing it, and now I find you talking about world conquest. Oh, you thought I was talking about conquering it for me? No, 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 no. Well, Mr. Koopa, King, sir, for you... We got a magic wand and a magic gem. Just because, well, because you're you. Magic wand? Magic gem? Cheesy trinkets like those are nothing to Cooper the Great and Powerful. Look at this. Brooklyn Plumbing Novelty Company. Serving your plumbing novelty needs for nearly one hundredth of a century? You idiot! When Piranha Sue threw the gem away, Mario and Toad quietly leaped on it. The gem was theirs again. You mean the gem and the wand are useless? Not at all! This wand makes an excellent pedal bender. Let's try, shall we? While Koopa was occupied yelling at Piranha Sue, he tossed the magic wand aside. Mario and Toady grabbed it and ran for their lives. <sighs> well, I've got to hand it to you, Toad. Your plan worked. Toad, now protected by the force field, easily kept up with Mario as they raced back to the palace. I can't think of anything in the universe dumber than a man-eating plant. I knew what she was up to all along. <sighs> The Mushroom King, still trapped in his chameleon form, was thrilled to see Mario and Toad return to the palace. Mario! Toady! It's good to see someone who won't walk all over me. Well, you do tend to blend into the background, sir. Mario quickly used the magic wand on the king. I'm normal. I'm normal again. Only technically, sir. Just then, a plump fly flew by, and the king automatically stuck out his tongue. More lizard crunchies, sire? Bedtime for Drainhead. Even the Super Mario Brothers get to goof off once in a while. Mario lay in bed surrounded by comic books. Wow, I've just spent the last 72 hours reading Dirk Drainhead comic books. A new record! The scary thing is, I'd do it all over again. Maybe I'll take a nap first, though. Mario! It's an emergency! Mario, get out of bed! <coughs> Luigi? Is it a week later already? Quick! Toad's been kidnapped by Koopa! Toad? Little Toad? Yes. And you know what we're going to do, don't you? Write a strongly worded letter to the Mushroom Times in the morning. Mario slumped back in bed and pulled a pillow over himself. Luigi had no choice but to race off alone. You got ten minutes. <sighs> I wish Dirk Drainhead were here. He'd know what to do. Eight minutes later, Luigi returned with the tools necessary for the job. An alarm clock, cold water, 
and a plunger. Okay, princess, we have to wake Mario. This could get ugly. Mario? <clears throat> oh, you are mistaken, my friend. I am Dirk Drainhead. Not again. A stalwart fungus needs my help. Luigi, could I talk to you a second? Mario sometimes sleepwalks and thinks he's Dirk Drainhead, then disappears for hours. That's terrible. We better keep him locked up for his own good. No problem. There's no way that Mario's smart enough to sneak out of that room. Unbeknownst to Luigi, Mario had already snuck out of his room and was fast escaping from sight. Mario? Mario! Dirt Drainhead, Action Plumber, shall seek out the enemy! Wow! He's almost to the horizon! Okay, this is a problem, but not a big one. You button pushers are going to taste some action! Dirk's on the case! We should have seen this coming. He's been hiding his Dirk comics all over the castle. Don't worry. We're fine if Mario doesn't think he's rescuing Dirk's teenage comedic sidekick, Snakey. Oh, Snakey, Snakey, Snakey. Snakey, 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 Snakey. It's all my fault. Mario bounced off, plunger in hand, while nearby Shy Guys planned their enemy strategy. Here's the A plan. You attack from the front, and I'll take the rear. Mario knocked out his attackers with mighty blows. What's the B plan? If I don't rescue you, Snakey, I'll never plunge again. Luigi, is Dirk smarter than Mario? Well, almost everyone is. Meanwhile, Mario was approaching Koopa's castle, still sleepwalking in his dirt drain head dream, attacking sparks, shy guys, and anything else that stood in his way. You understand my dire yet tragic foes. It is not you that I am personally going after. Bigger things are at stake here. With awesome power comes better than average responsibility. Suffering, the question of my purpose, I must struggle on. He'll talk like this all day if you let him. Princess Toadstool and Luigi followed Mario's trail of destruction toward Koopa's castle. This wouldn't happen if he read Baron is Blue Blood. You're not going to recite the last issue again, are you? This reminds me. Mario's having some friends over next week. Look out, Princess! Ahead! Some of Mario's victims limped angrily toward the castle. We're going to Koopa, and we're telling. Your brother's in big trouble now. He doesn't play fair. I got a paper cut. Want to see? Uh, exactly how much trouble are we in with Koopa? Koopa certainly had reason to be upset. All around them were the broken remains of Mario's over-enthusiastic acting out of his superhero life. You know, it's going to be real hard smoothing out this finish. I'm a bit embarrassed about this. Luigi, my father was once turned into a lizard. Don't try to top me on this. Elsewhere in Koopa's castle, Mario was trying to get through the Astro, which was guarding Koopa. My friend, violence is not the answer. The first man to raise a fist was the first one to run out of ideas. Koopa's guard lay in a dizzy heap when Mario was through with him. Koopa, third door to the left. Watch that third step. It's a lulu. Mario soon found his way to Koopa's door. This is the moment Snakey depends on me the most. I'll not fail him, or my name isn't Dirk Drainhead! Yeah, so when my pal Mario comes, you'll be sorry! The kingdom's most wanted is on the tube, and I want to catch Dad. What time is it? 
It's plunging time! Release Snakey! Who's Snakey? I think that's you, kid. Stand back, Snakey! This is not your battle! Well, please don't call me Snakey. That's a kind of name that might stick. Several hours later, cold, wet, hungry, and annoyed, Luigi and the princess slink back to the castle. I don't believe it. Koopa was nowhere to be found. I don't care about Koopa. Where are Mario and Toadie? We'll go back in the morning and... Yows! Luigi and Princess Toadstool couldn't believe their eyes. Right in the king's throne room were Mario, Toadie, and Koopa. And for some reason, Koopa seemed to be waiting on them hand and claw. The king confided in Luigi. Frankly, Mario scares me. He's spooky. Is it me, or do I detect milk film on this glass? Daddy, why is Koopa serving us grape sodas with little paper umbrellas? He's, uh, detail-oriented? He's being nice to make up for all the trouble he used to cause. Right. Just keep that nut with the plunger away from me. Mario's done a good thing this time. The kingdom will finally get a lasting peace. Should we tell Koopa that Mario's asleep? It's wrong to lie. I can live with that. Look, Toadstool, world peace is okay, but I'm missing the kingdom's most wanted. You're right. Yeesh. Wooster, fetch the royal TV. My. Koopa seems more civilized now, Daddy. In just a few more years, he might learn to eat with utensils. You sound like my mother. Frankly, Mario is more valuable asleep than awake. Thanks, Mario. Without thinking, the Mushroom King gave Mario a hearty slap on the back, jolting him awake. Uh, what happened? I think you just woke up Mario. He was sleepwalking. Where am I? Mario captured me single-handedly in his sleep? Well, kinda. I'm leaving. I can't believe I blew my whole afternoon with you guys. Hi, Princess. Hi, Luigi. Hi, Koopa. Hey, is Koopa supposed to be here? So, when are we gonna rescue Toadie? The next time I'm kidnapped. Guys? Guys! Mario was baffled. Everyone seemed to be fed up with him. He was left alone in the king's throne room. Suddenly, he remembered his emergency stash of comic books under the king's seat. Well, when the going gets tough, the tough read Dirt Drainhead.